Rogers, there's an Arkweller somewhere inside. Footy was using it last. Get on it. Well, you're with me. Let's start collecting scrap. You have to pull the doors off some of the cells? Do it! Now hop to! We ain't got much time. No problems? No. A couple of the Peggy scaled the wall, but we got him. Door. That doesn't look too bad. He'll be all right. Just keep pressure on it. You know, I was going to retire last year. I was worried I'd get bored. Are you going to introduce us, or we're just going to stand around here all awkward and shit? Language! Oh, fuck off, Virgil. Not today. I have told you, a vulgar mind is a sign of... You're not wearing your button! No, I'm not wearing it. I'll need a casualty report. We're, we're cougars! We're really not. Look, I'm wearing my button. The sheriff is wearing his button. This person... I'm sorry, who is this? This is one of my deputies. I thought you said your deputies were taken. Oh, well, this one wasn't. Been giving Eden's Gate a hell of a time from what I hear. That's so. Well, I hope you plan on pitching in. No room for freeloaders. <laughs> oh, Tracy's all right when she gets to know you. She's right about the work, though. There's plenty to be done around here. Just ask around. Good to have you back, Rook. Okay, then. how to paint a beautiful day. No, you're, you're not real. You're just in my head. How Deputy, you making out? None of my business, but you might want to ask Virgil or the others for an update. They know the places we need to strike. <laughs> Deputy, none of my business, but you might want to ask Virgil or the others for an update. Faith's got that marshal trapped in the bliss. I don't know how we'll get anyone out from under her control without getting sucked down into her madness. How's it going, mister? The Peggy told me they got five years worth of food stored underground. I'm having trouble getting my head around that. Five years. Over here. Securing a safe place like this was Keep worth every face. drop of blood. <laughs> Montana skies. Even uh, for the last. I need help! I'm a Come here a sec, Rook. Gonna be honest. Never thought I'd see you again. After the crash, I... I just remember fog. Then walking in a field. Then I saw her. You've seen her too, haven't you, Rook? Whatever she says, whatever she promises, it's a lie. Stay away from her, you'll end up just like the Marshal. The bliss. It makes you forget. It makes you feel free. You just want to stay there forever. But it isn't real. None of it. If Virgil and Tracy hadn't found me, I'd still be out there. Swimming in a sea of bliss. A prisoner in my own head. Those two saved my life. These cougars, they're good people. But they're hanging on by a thread. We gotta help him, Rook. If I were you, I'd put that gun down. So nice and slow. Beautiful day. How you making out? played his best games on days like these. These cougars, they're good people. But they're hanging on by a thread. We gotta help him, Rook. No one else will. One last thing. We had a doctor. Well, a veterinarian, but he's doing his best. Guy went missing a couple hours ago. Don't know why. I don't know how. an eye out for him, would you? Assistance. Hmm. Your 
sheriff's. Seems to know what he's doing, though. Tracy, I've seen her. Mostly keeps to herself. And Virgil, well, he's Virgil. I don't care much for politicians. I'll be in touch. Marshall's around here somewhere. You might even be impressed with your old man. I got everyone wearing your team buttons. You might even be impressed with your old man. I got everyone. Glad to see you, Deputy. You know much about Bliss? We got one big job around here, and that's to stop Faith. She took everything from me. My job, my marriage, even my son. All because of that bliss. You're one of us now, a cougar. We're a team that helps each other, and I need your help right now, deputy. You know about our water treatment plant? The cult took it and started pumping it full of bliss. You believe that? Right into the drinking water. What kind of monster does that? Well, she's not getting away with it any longer. I tell you straight, we're gonna shut it down fast. What do you say? Get to work, bro. Amen. Last two days, we've had a few people go missing. Only from what we can tell, they weren't lost in the bliss. There's been rumors of some place run by Faith's favorites. The kind of place nobody comes back from. Torture, drownings, sacrifices. People say anyone who doesn't walk Faith's little pilgrimage winds up there. I think we got a real problem on our hands, and I need someone to check it out. Someone who can handle themselves if it turns out to be more than just stories. Be careful, Rook. Fight for Henbane Rivers just starting. You hanging in there, hon? What's up, girl? <clears throat> the deputy's on the way. I want the airway lies. Don't trust her. Hey. When it comes to angels, you gotta take headshots. Otherwise, you're just wasting time and bullets. Don't spend too long in this mist. Hey, rookie. Ready for some action? All right. Hey. Sorry about before. It wasn't cool. Ask anyone here. I do tough really good, but the rest, well, I'm working on it. So, restart. Welcome. You'll like the team we got. Everyone's strong, and we need to be with what's beyond those walls. I hope Earl's right about you. We've all been trying to figure out how to crush Eden's gate. 
You ask me, it starts with faith. At least that's what she's calling herself these days. You seen that giant statue on the hill? Of course you have. You can't miss it. Good old Joseph Seed, the father. Faith had her groupies build that concrete eyesore for her sick pilgrimage. You seen them? Those sad fuckers marching their way to that statue? It's horrible. We gotta tear down that statue. Let all those Peggies know their father ain't no fucking god. He's just a man. What do you say, Rook? Go drive a big fuck you size hole into that thing. I know you've heard stories about me. That I'm a liar. A manipulator. <laughs> that I poison people's minds. Well, let me tell you a different story. A true story. There once was a young woman who had been ostracized by her community, bullied by friends, abused by her family. She took to a needle for help. She was all alone. She wanted to die. And she met the father. <laughs> he gave her hope. 
and confidence. The father showed her how special she was. She was full of love and life. He gave her a new family, one that accepted her just as she was. The young woman no longer wished to die. She had been given purpose. One day, the father brought her here. He asked if she had faith in him. He asked if she would be willing to die for him. The young woman who very much wished to live was scared. The father told her this was her test. She would have faith in her if she had faith in him. So she closed her eyes and left. <laughs> the father kept his word. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. Walk the path.
out there. Find your way.
have you done? His words. Don't you understand what he'll do to me? That was fucking beautiful. Joseph Seed's gonna be shitting bricks, and Faith is gonna feel the heat now. She'll need to answer for that burned book and that mangled effigy. Hell of a job. Rook, you're doing a hell of a job out there, but Faith doesn't like disobedience. We got word there's an armed patrol cruising the river, and it sounds like she's called in the Chosen. Toughest the cult has to offer. Be careful out there. The mist's rising. Gonna make you hallucinate, and if you breathe it for too long... Well, you could wind up like the Marshal. <laughs> Wait, horse out. My buddy said he saw someone out near the saloon gathering plants and shit. I was apparently going on about the key to fighting the cult was changing your biochemistry.